Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN's Acosta asks Sanders snide question is dismantled in front of everyone within seconds. It is said that before political despotry takes hold and they seize the power to fit reality to their lies, their propaganda is marked by its extreme contempt for the facts. In their opinion, facts depend entirely upon the power of those that can fabricate them. In the words of the Minister of Propaganda in Nazi Germany, Joseph Goebbels, it would not be impossible to prove with sufficient repetition and a psychological understanding of the people concerned that a square is, in fact, a circle. They are mere words, and words can be molded until they clothe ideas and disguise. As the entire country watches the utter fiasco that Democrats have created in their attempts to delay a confirmation vote on Judge Brett Kavanaugh for as long as possible, it seems clear that according to them the American people are merely free to do exactly as they are told. As President Donald Trump pointed out the gaps in the testimony of Christine Blasey Ford against Judge Kavanaugh during a rally in Mississippi, the left decried his criticism as appalling and insisted that it's just not right and that there is no time and place for comments like that. Apparently pointing out inconsistent statements in Ford's story or in any way being critical of her 11th-hour allegations is not acceptable. Never mind that Blasey Ford's inability to answer even the most basic of questions regarding the details of her accusations against Kavanaugh. Because women never lie about such things right? Never mind Columbia University's mattress girl Emma Sulkowicz, the Duke Law Cross case, or the Rolling Stone UVA rape case just for some recent examples. See Potiphar's wife for an ancient example. Meanwhile, the lives of men and boys are being destroyed over mere accusations, with no evidence, and sometimes with little merit because of some sort of skewed version of so-called equality and further victimizing those that have endured the horrors of rape and sexual assault in the process. Accusations of sexual assault and rape are serious accusations with grave consequences. They should be treated as such. They destroy people. They want to destroy people. These are really evil people, Trump said referring to the left smear campaign against Kavanaugh. How did you get home? I don't remember. How did you get there? I don't remember. Where is the place? Trump said, recounting Ford's testimony. I don't remember. How many years ago was it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Senator John Cornyn, RTX, defended President Trump's remarks on Blasey Ford's testimony stating, well, he was pointing out what we all saw, which was gaps in her testimony. And of course, the whole circumstance under which she ended up testifying in front of the Supreme Court, excuse me, in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee, is highly suspicious. Senator Feinstein sitting on her letter, then leaking, somehow it got leaked to the press, ended up in the Washington Post. And then against her wishes, she ends up in the middle of this three-ring circus, something she did not authorize and did not want. And unfortunately, that's where she found herself. So listening to her testimony was something she wanted us to do. We wanted to hear from her. I thought we treated her as I would have wanted my daughters or my wife or my mother treated if they were in a similar situation. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders also spoke in defense of President Trump, stating he was merely pointing out the facts of her testimony. Speaking to reporters at the White House during a press briefing, she stated, I dispute that it wasn't anything other than the president stating facts, facts that were laid out in the prosecutor's memo that she put forward in the Senate. Naturally, CNN's Jim Acosta was triggered. He then demanded to know if Sanders had a problem with President Trump's remarks about Ford, stating, You don't have any problem defending the president's comments? Sanders responded in her usual blunt, no-nonsense fashion, promptly putting Acosta in his place. She stated, I don't have any problem stating facts, no. I know that's something you probably do have a problem with, but I don't. Acosta shot back in an attempt to save face, actually, Sarah, we do state the facts, and I think there have been many occasions when you don't state the facts, if I may respond. Sanders simply ignored Acosta and moved on to questions from the next reporter. In the press conference, Sanders referenced Rachel Mitchell the veteran sex crimes prosecutor chosen by Republicans to question Ford during her testimony to the Senate Judiciary Committee. In Mitchell's memo, she concluded that a he said, she said case is incredibly difficult to prove. But this case is even weaker than that. Acosta meanwhile took his hurt feelings to Twitter retweeting comments from his colleague at CNN, Ram Ramgopal stating, they are in a losing battle with the truth, it seems, on many days. So you saw the press secretary up here at the podium trying to sell the whopper that President Trump was not mocking Christine Blasey Ford last night, he was obviously mocking Christine Blasey Ford. They are in a losing battle with the truth, it seems, on many days.
So you saw the press secretary up here at the podium trying to sell the whopper that President Trump was not mocking Christine Blasey Ford last night, he was obviously mocking Christine Blasey Ford at Acosta. Ram Ram Gabal. Dot at Acosta, are you saying Judge Kavanaugh is the victim in all this? Dot at Press Sec, I think both Dr. Ford and Judge Kavanaugh are the victims at the hands of the Democrats. I think it is absolutely disgraceful what they've done. Ryan Struig. Sanders very vocal in her criticism of the left and their very public attacks on Kavanaugh, disparaging Democrats for their behavior during the nomination and confirmation process, stating, it is a complete and total disgrace. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.